As parents, we have a very big problem. We want to get our kids off the screens. If you're like me, you're always seeking for different ways, different activities, different things that our kids can do that do not include watching TV, using video games, using phones, iPads, you name it. So I started doing my research. I started going, I went online, I went on Google, I went on YouTube, and I found this whole thing about dopamine detox, dopamine detox, dopamine fasting. And I'm like, wait a second, you know what? That is a great digital product that someone can create so that we can provide a solution for parents like myself. So today in this video, we're gonna be creating a dopamine detox activity book for kids. Let's get started. I came to Google and I started searching for dopamine detox activities that help reduce stress and anxiety because a lot of people experience stress and anxiety from being off the screens. Now, I found some here, some ideas, write and journal, walk outside, exercise and stretch, meditate, and so on and so forth. But now I'm going to go ahead and, on the search bar. I'm going to go ahead and search for, I'm going to add the words for kids. And let's see what comes up. Uh, okay, bike riding or kite flying. All right, let's head on over to ChatGPT. And I already typed it here. I pre-typed it, 25 dopamine detox activities for kids, Okay. Let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT generates for us. Nature scavenger hunt, art and craft station, story writing or comic creation. Let's let kids blah, blah, blah. let kids create their own stories or comics using their imaginations. Reading challenge: set a small goal like finishing a short book or chapter to encourage reading. Puzzle time, board games, gardening, origami. I like that one. I love origami. Building forts and structures, journaling or gratitude list. You just have to get creative. We're going to go ahead and head on over to Canva because we're going to start creating the interior pages of our dopamine detox activity books for kids. This is the book, the front book cover that I created for this type of product. Uh, and I did it literally right before starting this recording. I wanted to do something fast, quick, and easy and simple. Now, this is perfect if you want to sell this type of product as a digital file that can be printed or downloaded. And if you want to go ahead and sell your products, not on Amazon, but on something like a stand store, go ahead and visit the link down below. I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect you to my playlist where I talk about what is Stan and how to create your stand store and sell your digital product. Now, we're going to go ahead on this document. By the way, this document is an 8 by 11. So you can create your document any size that you want. It can be a 5 by 8. It can be an 8 by 11. You name it. Now, let me go ahead and add a page on this document. This is going to be simple. Let me go back to ChatGPT and where it says nature scavenger hunt. What we can do is the following. On that first page, we're going to copy this. Let's go here and I'm going to add a heading and paste it here. Let's say I don't want this page to be yellow. You can change the color. That's not a problem. But before I change the color, let me add some elements such as leaves. Maybe some leaves will do because remember, we this is a activity book. So we want to make sure we decorate it, you know, for kids, make it uh, very uh, colorful and things like that. So let's go ahead and minimize this. We can create like a little border with some leaves around it. That's just an idea. Then I'm going to change the color. I'm going to maybe change the font. And this is totally up to you. This is the creative process. So you can go ahead and make this however you'd like. So nature scavenger hunt. And now we are going to add a subheading and we can make it into a challenge. So we're going to put challenge number one. Let's go ahead and as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and delete this. I have an idea. Let's go ahead and here and under default text styles, we're going to go ahead and click on this one where it says add a little bit of body text. We're going to use that one. We're going to bring it here down here and we are going to write challenge number one. We want to make it fun for kids. So challenge number one, go back to chat GPT and we are going to copy and paste that first activity. It says create a list of items to find. 
This is an outdoor activity. So we're going to go ahead and go here, paste it. And now you get to start designing this page. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm doing this in real time. Now we have to provide a little space for the, the list that they're going to create. So let's go ahead and add, let's say maybe, uh, some type of like speech bubble or let's see, let's see what we find. So under speech bubble, we have these, uh, speech bubbles here, but I found this one right here. I actually like this. So what we can do, we can use little elements such as these. And you know, let me delete this. <laughs> it disappeared. A, I can go ahead and duplicate this leaf, bring it down and we flip it. So it's the other way. Excellent. So now we can add a little uh, rectangle such as this one. And then, or we can find something else, maybe a, something like a square. And we could use one of these squares here. Let me go ahead and delete this one. Maybe we could use something like this. And then, oh, it's, it's double, doubled. We could do something like this. And they can do the list here on this side. We can also add other elements such as, let's say, bullet, bullet point. Excellent. So we can do something like this. Let me choose this one right here. You can go ahead and minimize this and duplicate it and just continue to do this. Okay. And then here we have to crop it. We would have to crop it right there. So done. And guess what? We have, uh, we're, we're building that list here. Now we can add some lines if you'd like. So we can do something like this. Add a line here. Add a line here and so on and so forth. And it'll do it automatically for you. And guess what? We have the first page nature scavenger hunt. Now we're going to go ahead, add, go ahead and add another page. And then we're going to go back to chat GPT and we're going to check this one. Number two is art and craft station provide supplies like markers, paper, clay, and let them create freely. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy. And then here we're going to go to text. We're going to click on heading, paste, change the font, bring it up. And then we're going to click on add a little bit of body text because that's exactly what we have to do. Go back to chat GPT, copy the, where it says provide a supply, provide supplies like markers, paper, clay, and so on and so forth. Go back to uh, Canva and paste. So you see now we have this one here. Uh, but, oh, we forgot. Very important. Challenge number two. Okay. So now what I would do for something like this page, and I'll, I'll, and I'll explain to you why. I wouldn't do something so generic as provide supplies, markers, and clay, and let them create freely. I, I would actually provide, for example, I would do uh, provide supplies like markers, paper, and clay, and let them create their very own monster because then in this activity you can also provide them with googly eyes maybe some yarn and things like that so let's go back to elements and then we are going to do a monster let's go ahead and uh, do not do <laughs> type in monster um, and we're going to go ahead and add some monster to this page maybe we can do something like this i'll show you right now we add this monster here, just add more monsters as you go, like in the form, like in the little line, I guess. And then, uh, just minimize them. And so that it looks like this, they can either. Okay. So you could do something like this option one, create a monster with supplies or option to draw a monster. Okay, so now let me go ahead and add some space. And then for something such as this, let me go, go ahead and just do this. So now we have option one and option two. What I would do, uh, provide an additional page so that they can create their own monster, but don't leave it blank. What I would do is just add maybe a paper border 
uh, and then just something like this so that it's not so plain, you see, and then they can go ahead and so it looks like this. And then here you can add more things such as maybe, maybe this here on the edge, on the corner, and then maybe edit this so that it fits. Okay, so it could be something like this, just an idea, something to think about, and just provide this page so that they can draw their own monster if they choose option two. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add another page because we're going to do a different type of activity, which is a really cool one, so listen up, okay? I'm going to go ahead and add a heading. This is just an idea that I would have. And then in this idea, it would be a Canva project. You would be surprised what kids can do on Canva. Because my kids, my six-year-old and my 11-year-old, they use Canva. So let me go ahead and show you what type of challenge we can create. Oh, and if you're interested, go ahead. I'm going to put a link up above somewhere here. If you want your child to learn Canva and, and do different types of Canva projects, go ahead and head on over to my other YouTube channel where I teach children how to create different projects, different things on Canva. So check that out. So now here, the challenge. So challenge, uh, what did I do? Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Challenge number three. So challenge number three is the following. Create, oh wait, not create, design your own hoodie on, on Canva. This is totally cool. We actually did this with my son and he loved it. And guess what we did? We actually printed out his, uh, we ordered the design of his hoodie uh, from that he designed on Canva. We ordered it and it was actually printed on an actual hoodie. And that was super cool. Felt super motivated. Wanted to continue to design on Canva. Super motivating. So challenge number three, design your own hoodie on Canva. So what you can do is teach your child, get them on Canva and have them design. How can they design a little, let's say, monster on Canva? You can go ahead and, and teach them. How do they build their own monster? Very simple. You go to shapes, okay? They can go to shapes. Let's say, for example, they want to use a circle. Or you know what? Let me go ahead and delete the circle. Let's go ahead and search for it. So we're going to check for oval, oval outline. Okay, so let's look for an oval outline. Let's use, we can use this one, okay? So we have an oval outline. And then, and I'm just teaching you how to do this so that you can do it with your kids. Now we're, we can go ahead and choose, whoa, what did I do? All right, so now we can go ahead and look for eyes. So they can choose the eyes for their little monster. And then you can use something like arms. And then if you search on Canva, I mean, there's so many things, so many different types of arms that they can go ahead and use for their little monster. And then they could explore, maybe make that same monster into their, uh, I don't know, their little avatar and they can create different animations here on Canva. Let me go ahead and use this mouth. And that's how you create a little monster. And then just continue to see what else they can find here. You can add something like this and just make it fun. Trust me, this is a great activity to do with your kids. They will definitely enjoy it. So let's go ahead and add some horns. This is totally, totally cool. Um, a lot of laughters, a lot of laughters, trust me. Um, my kids love doing things like this. So something like this with one horn on the head. And guess what? You have a little monster and you could add different things on this page. Since this page will not have the design, obviously on the printout, what you can do is just have a little monster there so they can have an idea of what they can create and just maybe, uh, do other little things on this activity page challenge. And you can change the background if you want. Uh, let's say you want to go ahead and use this color, maybe this one, or just leave it white. It's really up to you what you would like to do. So you get the point, you get the gist. This could be a perfect dopamine activity book for children. If you want to go ahead and add more activities to your activity book, you have two options. Let me show you. 
if you want to go ahead and add more activities such as coloring pages, mazes, and those types of activities, you can go ahead and search for mazes under elements here on Canva and you will have a, you can see a wide selection of those. If you want to go ahead and create coloring pages, let's say for example, let's say monster coloring, you can go ahead and type that in and you have different monster pages that are, are already there for you to use. Okay, so now these are coloring, color, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> these are coloring pages that you can use or construct your own coloring pages by using different types of monsters together on this, whoa, uh, on this page that I have right here. So you can construct your own coloring page, which is totally cool. Second option, option number two is I have an activity book generator that I love to use. Um, you can use it to build custom projects or you can use the random generator feature. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down below for this activity book generator because it has been a lifesaver uh, when it comes to creating these types of activity books for children. Here we have mazes, Sudoku, and we have activity and coloring pages. It will do it at random. So for example, let's say I put Sudoku and then the max number of pages that I could come up with at a time is three. I click on create and it will automatically create a file for me. As you can see here, it's already available. I'm going to open that file and then guess what? I have some Sudoku uh, puzzles and then it has the answer sheets. It already has the answers on the back. So that's perfect. If I don't want to do that and I don't want to do the Sudoku, not a problem. We can go ahead and do some mazes. So I can click on mazes and then it has the option of 1, 5, 10, 20, or 30. Let me click on 30. I'm going to click on create and it will generate mazes in a couple seconds. Here we have it. Now I clicked on that file and you have your puzzles. I hope you found this idea helpful. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. God bless.